Following on from last week's uh, leg lock uh, chain that we did, uh, we're going to carry on with finishing the heel hook and trapping your partner's hip so they can't roll away from you. Okay, so we're starting just with our partner in a seated position. I want to get my leg inside my partner's um, little force field that they've, they've made here. So to do this, quite often I'll lift my partner's legs off the ground and then as they sit back up, I'll step in. So I step my foot into the gap. From here I start turning backwards and I'm going to bring this knee on the inside of my partner's leg. So we'll turn from this angle. So I go down. As they come back up, I step my leg in and I start to go backwards. So I back step and I bring this leg on the inside of my partner. At the same time, I control I control their leg so I don't lose their leg. And I want to try to get this knee to the ground. So this becomes a, a bit of a frame to stop my partner sitting up. Right? Their defense is to try to grab hold of my neck. If I can use this knee in the way at the moment, then that helps me. And I also like to hook my partner's uh, leg here because their escape will be to start turning their foot this way and to start run away. So by controlling, by controlling the leg and by controlling this, you now it's very difficult for my partner to run away uh, to start with. Okay, so from here, I want to look to control this outside leg. So there's a couple of ways I can do this. One is I try to feed this to myself. So if it's here, I feed this to myself. I kick my leg through, okay, and I bring my partner's leg on this side of my body. Once I've done this, I reach and I uh, grab the top of my partner's knee and I pull this into me. So from here, I clamp my legs together so I have my partner's hips uh, locked. So if Dawn tries to run away now, it's very hard for her to turn either way. It's also very hard for my partner to sit up because I've got her hips controlled. Okay, I've got like a double leg control here. So yes, you can start to threaten this attack. However, the straight foot lock, however, because I don't have any uh, clamping mechanisms on my partner's leg, it's very easy for her to sort of lift her hips slightly to be able to get out of um, the actual submission, right? So, so I prefer just to secure this and then I'm going to look for uh, the, the heel hook on the inside, inside heel hook. So we'll go from this angle, pull my partner down, she comes back up. Step my leg in and I start to back step. As I back step, I control my partner's leg. Okay, control your partner's leg so they can't escape their knee line. And I control my, my partner's uh, foot there. I can bring this towards me. Or if my partner's trying to, to defend here, okay, then I can bring the leg across this way. Same thing. I need to re remove this leg and bring myself up. Once I've got this, I keep hold of the top of the, the knee to make sure that my partner can't run away and I clamp my hips together. So if we look at it from the other angle now, from this side. So this is the actual, this is the actual foot I'd like to attack. All right, this is gonna be my, uh, my um, inside heel hook. Okay, so I wanna go from here I'm going to reach up and I'm going to do the same as what we did uh, in the previous, um, the previous lesson. I'm going to expose my partner's heel. So I strike my partner's foot to expose the heel. Did you see how that makes my partner's heel attached to me? Okay. And then, once again, I want to have this bend in my partner's leg. If the leg's straight, it's easier for them to back out. Okay. If the leg's if the leg's bent, then it's going to be harder for them to back out. <coughs> so I strike and I start bending. So you can see there's a bend in my partner's uh, knee now. I secure, so I want to have my wrist at the ankle, sort of where your thumb bends. Okay? Then I control this and lift my hips again. It's the hip lift that's going to end up doing the damage to the knee joint. 
pretty much we need to block the foot so it doesn't move anymore and then we destroy the knee joint by lifting my hips up and through my partner's knee joint okay so from here I control the leg strike the ankle down bend so I'm moving my shoulders back this way slightly to get a bend in the leg then I lift my partner's hips